dear. Your call, please. Operator, I've been dialing Murray Hill 70093. Now, for the last three quarters of an hour, and the line is always busy. I don't see how it could be busy for that long. Will you try it for me, please? I would be glad to try that call for you. One moment, please. I don't see how it could be busy all this time. It's my husband's office. He's working late tonight, and I'm all alone in his house. My health is very poor, and I've been feeling so nervous all day. Murray Hill, 70093. Hello? 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 Is is Mr. Stevenson there? Hello, George? Yes, sir. This is George Speaker. Oh, hello? What number is this, please? I'm here with all clients. Hello? Good. Who's this? Is everything What okay? number am I calling, please? Is the coast clear for tonight? Yeah, George. He says the coast is clear for tonight. Okay, okay. Where are you now? In the phone booth. Don't worry. Everything's okay. Very well. You know the address? Yeah, yeah, I know. At 11 o'clock, the private patrolman goes around to the second bar avenue for beer. That's right. 11 o'clock. We'll make sure that all the lights downstairs are out. There should only be one light. This is from the street. Yeah, yeah, I know. At 11.15, a train crosses the bridge. It makes a noise. In case your window is open, and she should scream. You remember everything else, George? Yeah, yeah. I make it quick. As little blood as possible. <gasps> That's right. You use a knife? Yes. My knife will be okay. And afterwards, I remove the rings and the bracelets and the jewelry in the bridegroom drawer. Because our client wishes it took a simpler robbery. Don't worry. Everything's okay. I know. Oh. Oh, how awful. How unspeakably awful. I've just been cut off. I'm sorry. What number are you calling? Why, it, it was supposed to be Murray Hill 70093, but it wasn't. Some wires must have been crossed. I was cut into a wrong number, and I... I, I I've just heard the most dreadful thing. Something about a, a, a murder. And, oh, operator, you must simply have to retrace... I beg your pardon? May I help you? Oh, I know it was a wrong number, and I had no business listening, but these two men... They were cold-blooded fiends, and they were trying to murder somebody, some poor innocent woman who was all alone in a house near a bridge, and we got to stop them. We, we've got to... Uh, what number were you calling, please? Well, that doesn't matter. This was a wrong number, and you dialed it for me. And we've got to find out what it was immediately. What number did you call? Now, look, look. It was obviously a case of some little slip of the finger. I told you to dial Murray Hill 70093 for me. You doubt it, but your finger must have slipped, and I was connected with some other number. I could hear them, but they couldn't hear me. Now, I, I, I simply failed to see why you couldn't make that same mistake again on purpose. Why you couldn't try to dial Mari Hill 70093 in the same sort of careless way. Mari Hill 70093? Yes. I tried to get it for you. Well, thank you. that wrong number at all. I asked you many times and all you did was dial it correctly. I'm sorry. What number are you calling? Oh, well, why can't you for once forget what number I'm calling and do something for me? Now, I want to trace that call. It's my civic duty and it's your civic duty to trace that call and to upperhand those dangerous criminals. And if you won't... I'll connect you with the chief operator. Please! Oh, dear. Chief Operator. Oh, uh, Chief Operator, I want you to trace a call, a telephone call, immediately. I don't know where it came from or who was making it, but it's absolutely necessary that it to be tracked down. 
because it was about a murder that someone's planning. A terrible, cold-blooded murder of a poor, innocent woman tonight at 11.15. I see. Well, can you trace it for me? Can you track down those men? I'm not certain. It depends. Depends on what? It depends on whether the call is still going on. If it's a live call, we can trace it on the equipment. If it's been disconnected, we can't. Disconnected? If the parties have stopped talking to each other. Oh, but of course they must have stopped talking to each other by now. That was at least five minutes ago. And they didn't sound like the type who would make a long call. Well, I can try tracing it. May I have your name, please? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. But listen. And your telephone number, please? Plaza 42295. But if you go on waiting all this time... How do you want this call trace, please? Well, I... well, no reason. I... I, I mean, I mainly felt very strongly that something ought to be done about it. These men sound like killers. They're dangerous. They're going to murder this woman at 11.15 tonight, and I thought the police ought to know. Have you reported this to the police? Well, no, n not yet. You want this call checked purely as a private individual? Yes, yes, but meanwhile... I'm sorry, Mrs. Stevenson, but I'm afraid we couldn't make this check for you and trace the call just on your say-so as a private individual. We have to do something more official. Oh, for heaven's sakes. You mean to tell me I can't report that there's going to be a murder without getting tied up with in all this red tape? Why, it's perfectly idiotic! Well, all right, I'll call the police. Thank you. I'm sure that would be the best way to... Ridiculous. Perfectly ridiculous. The thought of it. Let's see why I have to go through all this trouble. Your call, please? The police department. Get me the police department, please. Oh dear. Do you have to dial? Can't you ring directly? Police station, precinct 43, Sergeant Martin speaking. Police department? Uh, th this is Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson of 53 North Southern Place. I'm calling up to report a murder. I, I, I mean, the, the murder hasn't been committed yet, but I just overheard plans for it over the phone. Over a wrong number that the operator gave me. I've been trying to trace down the call myself, but everybody is so stupid! And I guess in the end you're the only person who can do anything. Yes, ma'am. It was a perfectly thought out murder. I heard their plans distinctly. Two men were talking about it, and they were going to murder some woman at 11.15 tonight. She lived in a house near a bridge. Uh, are, are you listening to me? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. And there was a private patrolman on the street. He was going to go through for a beer on a second avenue and there was a uh, some third man a client who was paying to have this poor woman murdered they were going to take her rings and bracelets and use a knife well it, it's uh, it's unnerving me it, it, it's dreadful and uh, i'm not well I, I feel so nervous i see when was all this ma'am about eight minutes ago then then you can do something y you do understand. What is your name, ma'am? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Stevenson. And your address? 53 North Sutton Place. That's 53 North Sutton Place. That's near a bridge, the Queensborough Bridge. You know, and, and, uh, the, uh, we have a private patrolman on our street. Second Avenue? And what was that number you were calling? Murray Hill 70093. But that wasn't a number I overheard. I mean, Murray Hill 700. Mine three is my husband's office. He's working late tonight, and I was trying to reach him to ask him to come home. I'm an invalid, you know, and it's the maid's night off, and I hate to be alone, even though he says I'm perfectly safe as long as I have the telephone right next to my bed. Well, we'll look into it, Mrs. Stevenson, and see if we can check it with the telephone company. But the phone company said they couldn't check the call if the parties had stopped talking. I've already taken care of that. Oh, you have? Yes, and personally, I feel you ought to do something far more immediate and drastic than just check the call. Well, we'll take care of it. Don't you worry. Well, I say the whole thing calls for a search. A complete and thorough search of the whole city. Now, I'm very near the bridge, and I'm not far from the 2nd Avenue, and I know I feel a whole lot better if you sent around a radio car to this neighborhood at once. And what makes you think the murder's going to be committed in your neighborhood, ma'am? Well, I... Oh, my, I don't know. Only the coincidence is so horrible. Second Avenue, the patrolman, the bridge... Second Avenue is a very long street, ma'am. 
And you know how many bridges there are in the city of New York alone? Yes, I, I know. Not to mention Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, and the Bronx. I know that. How do you know there isn't some little house on Staten Island on some little Second Avenue you've never even heard about? How do you know they're even talking about New York at all? But I heard the call on the New York dialing system. Maybe it was a long-distance call you ever heard. Oh, I don't. Telephones are funny things. Look, lady, why don't you look at it this way? Supposing you hadn't broken in on that telephone call. Supposing you'd got your husband the way you always do. You wouldn't be so upset, would you? Well, no, I suppose not. Only a sentence so inhuman, so cold-blooded. A lot of murders are plotted in this city every day, ma'am. We managed to prevent almost all of them. But... But a clue of this kind is so vague. It isn't much more use to us than no clue at all. But surely you... Unless, of course, you have some reason for thinking this call was phony and that someone may be planning to murder you. Me? Oh, 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 oh no, no, no. I hardly think so. I, I mean... Why should anybody? I'm all alone, day and night. I see nobody except for my maid, Louise. And, and oh, she's a big girl. She weighs 200 pounds. Oh, she's too lazy to bring up my breakfast tray. And the only other person is my husband, Albert. He's crazy about me. He, he just adores me. He waits for me hand and foot. He scarcely lifts my side since I took sick, well, 12 years ago. Well, then there's nothing for you to worry about. Now, if you'll just leave the rest of this to us. We'll take care of it. But what will you do? It's so late. It's nearly 11 now. We'll take care of it, lady. Will you broadcast it over the city? And send out squads? And warn your radio cars to watch out? Especially in suspicious neighborhoods like mine? Lady, I said we'd take care of it. Just now, I've got a couple of other matters here on my desk that require immediate attention. Good night, ma'am. And thank you. Oh, you... you... Idiot. Oh, now, why did I hang up the phone like that? You'll think I'm a fool. Oh, why doesn't Albert come home? Your call, please. Operator, for heaven's sakes, will you ring Murray Hill 70093 number again? I can't think what's keeping him so long. I will try it for you. Well, try. Try! I don't see why he doesn't answer it. I can hear it. You don't have to tell me. I know it's busy. <sighs> if I could only get out of this bed for a little while. If I could get a breath of fresh air. Just lean out the window and see the street. Hello, Albert? Hello? 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 What's the matter with this phone? Hello? 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 Hel- Oh, for heaven's sakes. Who is this? Hello? 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 Oh, who's trying to call me? Why doesn't she answer? Hello, operator? I don't know what's the matter with this telephone tonight, but it's positively driving me crazy! I've never seen such insufficient, miserable service. Now, now, look, I am invalid, and I'm very nervous, and I'm not supposed to be annoyed, but if this keeps going on much longer... What seems to be the trouble, please? Well, everything's wrong! I haven't had one bit of satisfaction out of one call I've made this evening. The whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And now my phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing every five seconds when I pick it up and no one's there. I'm sorry. Will you hang up? I will test it for you. I don't want you to test it for me. I want you to put that call through, whatever it does, at once. I'm afraid I cannot do that. You can't? And why? Why may I ask? The dial system is automatic. <gasps> if someone is trying to dial your number, there is no way to check if the call is coming from the system or not. Unless the person who's trying to reach you complains to his particular operator. And meanwhile, I've got to sit here in my bed, suffering any time that phone rings, imagining everything. I'll try to check the trouble for you. Check it? Check it? That's all anybody does. Oh, what's the use of talking to you? You're so stupid!
Oh, I'll fix her. Of all the imputrid. How dare she speaks to me like that? How dare she? Why does it take so long? Your call, please. Young woman, I don't know your name, but there are ways of finding you out. And I'm going to report you to your supervisors for the most, most impertinent rudeness and insubordinate you've ever been in my privileges. Give me the business office at once. You may dial that number direct. I let direct? Oh, I'll do no such thing. I don't even know the number. The number is in the directory, or you may secure it by dialing information. Listen here, you. Oh, what's the use? Oh, dear. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm going out of my mind. Out of my... Hello? Hello! Stop ringing me, do you hear me? Answer me! Who is this? Do you realize you're driving me crazy? Who's calling me? What are you doing it for? Now stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hello? Hello? I, 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 if you don't stop ringing me, I'm going to call the police. Do you hear me? The police! <laughs> if Albert would come home... Let it ring. <laughs> Let it go on ringing. It's a trick of some kind of one. Answer it. I, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Even if it goes on ringing all night, you. Oh, you, you ring. Go on and ring. It's stopped. No, no, what, 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 what's the matter? Why, why, why did it all of a sudden. What? Oh, well, what time is it? Where, 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 where did I put that clock? Oh, here, here it is. It's it, 5 to 11. Oh, they decided something. They, sure, sure. Uh, I'm home. They heard my voice answer just, um, just now. Uh, that, that's why they've been ringing me. Why no one has answered me. Oh, I'll call the operator again. Your call, please. Where were you just now? Why, why didn't you answer at once? G give me the police department. I'm sorry. The line is busy. I will call See? you. See? That's impossible. The police department can't be busy. That There must be other lines available. The line is busy. I will try to get them for you later. No, 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 I, 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 I got to speak to them right now, right now, it, or it may be too late, I've got to talk to someone. What number do you wish to speak to? I don't know, there must be someone to protect people besides the police department, a, 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 a detective agency. A... You will find agencies listed in the classified directory. But I don't have a classified, I mean, I, I'm too nervous to look it up, and I, I don't know how to use that. I'll connect you with information. No, no, no. Oh, you're being so spiteful, aren't you? You don't care, do you? What happens to me? I could die and you wouldn't care. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I can't stand it anymore. Hello? What do you want? Stop ringing. Will you just stop it? Hello? Is this Plaza 42295? Yes, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, this, this is Plaza 42295. This is Western Union. I have a telegram here for Mrs. Albert Stevenson. Is anyone there to receive the message? I, I, I'm Mrs. Stevenson. The telegram is as follows. Mrs. Albert Stevenson, 53 New York Sutton Place, New York. Darling, terribly sorry. Tried to get you for the last hour, but line busy. Leaving for Boston 11 p.m. tonight on urgent business. Back tomorrow afternoon. Keep happy. Love. Signed. Albert. Oh, no. Do you wish for us to deliver a copy of the message? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Thank you, madam. Good night. Good night. Oh, no. I can't believe it. You couldn't do this to me. 
he couldn't do it. Not when he knows I'm gonna be all alone. It's it's some trick. It's some Venus trick. Some some trick. Why doesn't she? Your call, please. Operator, try that Murray Hill seven zero zero nine three number for me, just once more, please. You may dial that number direct. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Oh, Albert, how could you? How could you? How could you? I can't be alone tonight. I, I can't. I'm, if I'm alone one more second, I'll go mad. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I can't be alone tonight. I can't. If I'm alone one more second, I, I'll go mad. I don't care what the expenses or what he says. I'm a sick woman. <laughs> Information. May I help you? I, I want the telephone number of Hinchley Hospital. Hospital. Hinchley Hospital? Do you have the street address? No, 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 it's somewhere in the 70s. It's, it's a small number of private and exclusive hospital where, where I put my appendix out two years ago. Henchley, uh, H E N C. One moment, please. Please hurry. And please, it, it, what, what is the time? You may find out the time by dialing Meridian 71212. For heaven's sakes! I've got no time to be dialing! The number of Henchley Hospital is Butterfield 70105. Butterfield 70105. Hospital. Good evening. N nurses registry. Who is it you wish to speak to, please? I want the nurses registry at once. I want a trained nurse. I, I want to hire her immediately for the night. I see. And what is the nature of the case, madam? Nerves. I'm very nervous. I need, I, I need soothing. A, a companionship. You, you see, my husband is away, and I. Have you been recommended to us by any doctor in particular, madam? No, but I really don't see why all this. This whole thing is necessary. I just want a trained nurse. I, I was a patient at your hospital two years ago, and... Oh, oh. We quite understand that, madam, but these are war times, you know. Well, Registered nurses are very scarce just now, and our superintendent has asked us to send out people out only on cases where the physician in charge feels that is absolutely necessary. Well, it is necessary. I'm a sick woman. I'm very upset, very, and I'm alone in this house, and I'm invalid. And tonight I overheard a telephone conversation that upset me dreadfully. In fact, if someone doesn't come at once, I'm afraid I'll go out of my mind. I see. Well, I'll speak to Miss Phillips as soon as she comes in. And what is your name, madam? Miss Phillips? And when do you expect her in? Well, I really couldn't say. She went out to supper at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? But it's not 11 yet. It's... Oh. Oh, my my clock has stopped. What time is it? Just 15 minutes past 11. What, what was that? What was what, madam? That, that, that click. Just now, in, in my own phone. As if someone had left the receiver off the hook of the extension t telephone downstairs. Well, I didn't hear it, madam. Now, how about this? But I did! There's someone in this house. Someone's downstairs in the kitchen, and they're, they're, they're listening to me now. They're... I won't pick it up. I... Oh, oh, oh. I won't let them hear me. I'll be quiet, and they'll think... Oh, if I don't call someone now, they'll... They'll stop me down there. There'll, there'll be no time. Please help me.
call, please? Operator. Operator, I I'm in desperate trouble. I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Please speak louder. I, I don't dare. I... There's someone listening. Can you hear me now? I'm sorry. But you've got to hear me. Oh, please. You've got to hear me. There's someone in this house. Someone's going to murder me. And you've got to get in touch with... Oh, there it is. There it is. Did, did you hear that? It, he, he put it down. He put that in the extension phone. He's coming up. He's, he's coming up the stairs. He, 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 give me the apartment. The police department. Police department. He, give it to me. One moment, please. I will connect you. Hurry. Oh, oh, please hurry. I, I can hear him coming up the stairs. I can hear him. He's, oh, he, he's getting closer. I can hear him. He's getting... Hurry. 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 Department, Sergeant Martin speaking. Police Department, Sergeant Martin speaking. Police Department, Sergeant Martin speaking. Police Department? Oh, I'm sorry. Must have gotten the wrong number. Don't worry. Everything's okay. <laughs>